What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Cryptocurrency Alliance Bitcoin Breakdown. I'm your host, as always, Dave Rodriguez, one of the head trainers here inside the Cryptocurrency Alliance community. I want to thank you guys for showing up again today, taking 10, 15 minutes out of your day to enjoy our videos, to learn alongside with our traders. Uh, in today's video, as always, guys, we're going to break, we're going to break down Bitcoin. It's the king of all crypto. Uh, what I'll be explaining is what I see and what the alliance sees from a chart trader's point of view. Um, whether you're a more experienced trader or whether you're somebody who has just started, uh, these videos are made to help you guys invest in crypto, invest in Bitcoin, know what the market's going to do next. We try to give you guys the best, uh, the highest chance possibility of winning each trade or at least knowing where the market's going to go to help you with the trades that you're currently in because where bitcoin goes the rest of the market tends to follow okay so uh at the end of the day guys i just want to talk a little bit about having fun because that's what we're here about that's what we're doing that's what we're trying to do here inside the alliance um learn the ins and outs of trading make smart trades and chat with like-minded traders so that's what we're building inside here, inside the Alliance, guys. If you want to be a part of that, show up here every single day and hang out with us. Because the bottom line about crypto, guys, and what I'm so excited about and what I do every day is we gather information, okay? And I'm so excited that we're able to give this information to you guys, give all this free value to you guys, because we look at the charts, we look at the information given to us, we make educated decisions, we just take that information and we see our risk-reward ratio, um, you know, What's the win possibility? You know, what's the possibility of this trade going up? What's the possibility of this trade going down? So um, we're here to provide you the tools, guys. Basically, the information and the tools to help you make an educated decision on which way you think the market's going to go and which way you think you should take your next trade. So with that said, guys, I'm going to dive into today's charts. But before I do that, as always, I want to remind you guys, for those of you who stayed to the end of the video, all the way to the end, we've got two free gifts, compliments of... The Clever Investor, Cryptocurrency Alliance, and myself. So, remember to stay to the end, guys. I'll be right back. See you on the inside of charts. Okay, guys, here we go. Today's Bitcoin breakdown. Let's check what where we are. Let's check out where we are. I left this uh, particular link up here because this is where we were at yesterday's video. And now I will refresh this, see where we're at today, current time. And slow. There we go. Got some action. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what's down here while this while the rest loads. Sixty two seventy current time. Market cap one oh seven five. Bitcoin. Okay, I think we got some action. 249 up four up four billion about 4.5 billion dollars today let's check that monthly guys still looking about the same as yesterday we can actually see the red ema again the 18 ema is visible which means we've retraced just a bit which is completely normal after a nice drop all right looks the same here a little bit of a retrace here nothing to be worried about Daily chart looks the same, except for we've actually reached this level where we've completed that shoulder. Yesterday we were in here, right around 6,300. Today we finished right below, right around that 6,100 mark, which completes that left shoulder, right shoulder combination. And there's a nice little resistance area, one of these last stairs way back when for Bitcoin. It's the daily chart. Let's break it down real quick, guys. Didn't have that much movement, but look at this. Look what we have here. Okay, this is what we've been looking at the last few days. This looks really nice. Uh, bounced right off that area. Spike to the upside. We are still currently below the MA, so I am still bearish. And I love that little retrace right there. That's uh, kind of kind of what I was talking about happening in here. Never happened. We ended up falling. Now we've had that nice little cup of hundred dollar retrace back up to the MAs. Spiked up. Tried to touch this MA. Wouldn't be um, 
surprise if it spiked up, touched this MA. Okay. Um, if we kept right on going, I would start looking uh, for this head and shoulder to complete right up in here. If we can break this uh, neckline, maybe even tap this uh, 200 MA on the four hour. But I'm still bearish. I'm still looking for this to uh, go to the downside. But we will see what happens, guys. Like I said, I trust the trade until the trade fails me. So if this price gets back up and above here in this area, I'm obviously going to look at another possibility. But as of right now, everything looks great. We are still below the low here. We are balanced right below that area, which is how it's supposed to go. we got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, almost a day under this particular zone. So I'm looking forward to break down to the downside, kind of the same analysis as yesterday. We had a nice little retrace. Let's check out the trades that we've had in. Okay, as you can see, I had a sale, uh, stop loss here and a take profit here, a take profit one. It spiked down, knocked the trade out, take profit taken, and it went right back up, did the retrace. Um, so that trade is complete, guys. And in reality, um, the Alliance took down $423, 423 pips, guys. That's a huge, huge trade in the margin trading world. And for those of you who are just looking for that insight on where the market is going to get in and out of the other coins that you're trading, this was a big, big um, you know, tip for you guys. A lot of free value here. So what I want to let you guys know is I took a little chance because we just had a great trade there. And I understood this little retrace here. As long as I saw this first big candle stop here, second big candle, I went for the third candle. So I caught the spike. I set a um, sell limit right here, risky trade guys, but I did it in two parts. Okay, so I set one in here, right in this area, right here. I set what's called a sell limit. Okay, a sell limit. We'll go over that in just a second. Basically what that means is price is down here, goes up, gets to 6320, which is this mark here. A limit means price comes up, hits that area, and bounces off, goes the other way. That is a sell limit. A sell stop is it goes through the price, continues to keep going, and when it hits the price, it is entered. Okay, this bounces off the price and goes the other way. Now, if it kept going, I would have went very negative. So I put my stop loss right above here, gave it a little bit of room, stop loss here, that actually has a little bit more up than that, in here, risky trade, so not much of a stop loss, okay, tight stop loss. So I'm in here nicely. Now I'm going to do the same thing I always do with the other half because like I said, I, I attempted this a little bit differently. I put half my trade here and half my trade here, which is not quite in yet. It's actually a little lower than that. It's like right here I have a sell stop and I'm going to wait for price to take off through there. Okay, so we are in profit right here, riskier trade. <clears throat> Don't recommend you guys that are newbies doing stuff like this. But, you know, I saw what was happening. I saw the rejection. I saw the huge wick, came up, tapped it, took a little bit of risk in here, and now I'm in profit. Um, I want to see this through all the way to see if we can get down to that area we talked about yesterday, that 5,700 area. 5,800 area, anything like that down in here would be awesome because that's the analysis I gave out yesterday and that's what I want to get back into. But after I gave that analysis, I forgot to take away my take profit. <laughs> so once it spiked down and hit it, I was out of the trade. So I looked to get back in so we can gain the rest of this trade, which comes down to about another $400, which would be amazing. That's almost a $900 trade, guys. Okay, 900 pips. All right, just one sec. Let's see here. We can take this out and move this down. Oh, get rid of that. Take profit. All right, we're gonna see what happens here, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna keep my stop limit, my stop loss here. Um, I'm probably gonna move it down just a bit, like this, and then just let this thing ride out. If it hits it, and the and this pattern here starts to play out. 
you know, we took a little bit of risk to get back into the trade, to ride it back down and double up. And um, I can do that any day. Small amount of risk to double the amount of income that we've just gained, double the amount of profit that we just gained. You can't beat that. So we're going to take that little bit of risk there, um, see what happens. I'm not going to be trading a whole lot of other coins. I am looking at some low volume things that we're going to be talking about inside the Alliance on some webinars. Um, but, you know, here in the next uh, week or so, guys, we're going to be dropping a couple of um, tips, a couple of uh, trades that we are really looking at. Um, and you guys, you know, can look at these as well, give you guys some insight on, on what we're looking at in the market besides Bitcoin, some trades that we think are going to take off anytime we take action on the altcoin. So that's another bit of free value I was telling, about, telling you guys about the other day. But just one last thing here, guys, I want to look into this. And we talked about this yesterday. This area over here is why I'm so focused on this right here. What happens to the left usually happens on the right. We got a nice uptrend, huge rejection multiple times before we had a breakout to the downside. So if you move this over here, we'd like to see what happened in this area happen here. So it moves perfectly. It looks perfect from body to body, from body to body, uh, excuse me, body to body. And hopefully we can see that happen again over here on the right. That'll be another $450 move, uh, negative to the downside in Bitcoin. And we will see what happens on tomorrow's Bitcoin breakdown. What's up, guys? I am back. That's all I have for you today. Please like the video below. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Do you like my analysis? Did I miss anything? Uh, what's your analysis? What do you think? What is your prediction um, on where you think the market's going to go next? Because we'd love to know what you think. As I mentioned earlier, you know, the Cryptocurrency Alliance is actually about joining forces with other good traders, helping other traders that need the help, and, um, you know, making good trades. So that's what we're about, guys. If you want to be a part of that, show up here every day and join us inside the members area for the Cryptocurrency Alliance. Before I forget, guys, I did mention earlier that um, hold on here. I did mention earlier that we got a couple of gifts for you guys. So um, below is a video, right down there. You're gonna see a link. It's the cryptocurrency consumer guide. Okay, this is one of the best things that you guys are gonna be able to read for free, especially all this free value we're gonna give you guys. Download the free ebook. Um, there's also a free training series, compliments of us here inside the Cryptocurrency Alliance that you guys can also take part of. So download the free ebook, click the link below, watch the free video series teaching you how to trade Bitcoin, um, or just simply type in bitcoinconsumerguide.com forward slash YT, that stands for YouTube, Okay. BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT. Guys, I'm your crypto coach, Dave. That's all I have for you today. I will see you tomorrow inside the charts. Now get out of here.